This video is part of a series on the XV6 operating system kernel. In this video, I'm going to talk about address translation and describe the page table architecture that's used in the RISC-V processor, at least as far as we need to know to understand the XV6 kernel. The register that we need to know about here is SATP, the supervisor register for address translation pointer. It is a control and status register, and it will be set to point to the page table. Page tables are kept in main memory, and at any one time, there is one page table that is in use, and that is the one that's pointed to by the SATP register. Virtual address translation in the RISC-V core is always turned on, that is, after initialization is complete. So, Initially, SATP is zero, and when it's zero, then there is no translation occurring. But in the initialization phase, we will set SATP to point to the page table that we want to use. It's always turned on when we're running in supervisor and user mode. It's not turned on in machine mode. There are several page tables. There is one page table for the kernel, all cores will share that page table. And it provides a one-to-one -one mapping, uh, pretty much one-to-one. -one. There are a couple of exceptions. Uh, but it will map all of physical memory so that the kernel code can access any location in memory without uh, having to do any sort of uh, computation about the address. There are also a number of memory mapped I.O. devices, and the kernel's page table will map those directly. In addition to this one page table, there is also a single page table for every user mode process. Now with the RISC-V, there are a number of options for how page tables are implemented. Uh, these options are called SV32, SV39, SV48. One of them is a two-level imp uh, implementation scheme. Uh, another is the three-level architecture and the SV48 is the four-level architecture. SV32 is available for 32-bit processors. We are only concerned with a 64-bit processor, and XV6 will use the SV39 scheme. So the processor, processor implements the SV39 scheme, so we have three-level page tables. There's some other options that I won't go into. Every load, store, or fetch to or from main memory will walk the page table, table, at least conceptually. So it will go through the page table to find the address translation to use. That's conceptual. Walking the page table would involve several memory accesses, and that's going to lead to incredible inefficiency. So for performance reasons, a real processor is going to have something called translation look-aside buffers. These are registers that are in the core, and generally they are transparent, or I should say invisible, uh, to the programmers. And basically what these registers will do is, is act as caches for recent page table entries. The only thing we need to know about, as kernel programmers, is that whenever we change the page table, that is, whenever we update the SATP register, we need to somehow flush the cache. We need to empty out all the TLBs. For this, there is an instruction in the RISC-V instruction set called sfence, VMA. In the kernel, there is a function with the name sfence, VMA, that does really nothing more than just execute this instruction. Okay, let's look at virtual addresses for the, 30, uh, the SV39 scheme. A virtual address is 39 bits, okay? And that address can be divided into an offset. All pages will be four kilobytes in length. And since two to the 12th is 4K, uh, we need exactly 12 bits to offset into the page. The remaining 27 bits are divided into three fields, which will access the level one, level, oh, sorry, level two, level one, and level zero of the page table. The bits above this are ignored. 
And when we access the page table, we will get a page table entry. And that page table entry will contain a number of bits that will control whether the access should be allowed or not. It can be marked read, in which case reading is OK, writable, if we're writing to the page, we need to have this bit set. And X stands for executable. There's also a U bit to indicate whether the page is accessible in user mode or only in supervisor mode. And there's a final bit, V, which stands for valid, to indicate whether this page table entry is valid or not. There's some other bits here, but we don't care about those. And finally, there is the physical page number. And the address translation hardware will take the virtual address, use these indexes to look up the right entry, and retrieve the page table entry. And then it will take the 44 bits of the page number and the 12 bits of the offset and put them together to form the physical address, which will be 56 bits. So with this scheme, we can support up to 2 to the 56 bytes of main physical memory. OK, let's look at the page table itself. Remember, we have these three fields, and each is nine bits. So the page table looks like this. Here's our SATP register. It points to a tree. Each node in the tree is a four kilobyte page in main memory. And the tree has three levels and the leaf level. At the leaf, we have the actual data pages. So all of these nodes and the leaves are 4K byte pages. And each one of the interior nodes of the tree, that is each one of the three levels in the page table, will contain 512 entries. Each entry is 64 bits. And of course, uh, 64 bits uh, is 8 bytes. And 8 times 512 is, is 4,096. So, we have room for 512 entries in each node. And each entry is a page table entry, which will have some bits and a pointer to the next level node. And so the way it works is the hardware will look at the first 9-bit field here and use that as an, ax as an index into this root node. Recall that. Uh, 2 to the 9th is 512, so 9 bits is exactly what we need. Of course, 12 bits uh, will allow us any access to, a access to any byte in the data page, since 2 to the 12th is 4096. So we use the first index here, the level 2 index, to index here. We get a pointer. We, we use the next index to index into that. We use the and that gives us a pointer to the next page. We use that index to access into this page. And that gives us the final page table entry, which is shown here and which will be used to check the access of the data page and to build the physical address. OK, that's it for the page table scheme. See you in the next video.